Good morning and a happy Monday. Today we're creating Appa from Avatar The Last Airbender. As always you're going to need a pencil, paper, and black line marker. And then today for colors you're going to be using brown, gray, and black. Alright guys, let's get started. And happy Monday. Today we're drawing Appa from Avatar The Last Airbender. Appa is going to be in the middle of our paper and we're going to be focusing on creating his head first and then building the body out from there. The first thing that we're going to do in the middle of our paper is create an oval shape. This oval shape is going to be Appa's head as far as where the top of it's concerned. And then we're going to underlap it in order to create a face and we'll add some body too by working around it. So like I said, we're going to start with this oval shape and this is going to give us the main majority part of our head. Because Appa is such a fuzzy, furry character, we're going to start at the bottom of this oval shape making some zigzag lines and making it feel kind of fuzzy. Once we have some zigzag lines at the bottom of that shape, we're then going to come in a little bit on each side and we're going to pull another oval shape out. But this one's going to feel like it's underlap, like we can't see a part of it under our first oval shape, but we can see the bottom of it and the sides. It's going to be about the same size just under our first hole. Now once we have this on we're going to go ahead and start making Appa's facial features. First thing we're going to do is create a nose right in the middle. This nose is going to be an oval to start with. We're going to make it nice and long. We're going to put some room in it. And in the middle of this nose shape we're going to come down create kind of a like thin U. Okay. And then from each side we'll come up to make some nostrils with some smaller ovals. But notice that our overall nose shape went from just being an oval to kind of having a little bit more curves to it, becoming more of a nose shape. From each side of our nose, we're going to come out, making a line until we meet the sides of that bottom oval. Now, on top of this line, into the side of our nose, we're going to make some eyes. I'm going to make a half oval shape or an eye shape, however you want to make that shape, but it's going to be between the top of these cheeks and under that's those zigzag lines that we created earlier. So we're going to bring them out on both sides and we're going to make sure they touch up the top of these zigzag lines. It's kind of his brow. Inside these eye shapes, I'm going to trace those lines again. He's going to have that original lines that we made. Those are going to be an outline. And then this interior part of the eye, we're going to color in. This will actually be his eyeball itself. They're going to be kind of dark. Once we have those, I'm going to come over to the side of my head here. I'm going to go out and down at an angle. This is going to create the top of some ears, and we're literally just going to curve in until we reach our cheeks. Next, we're going to go ahead and start making his uh, avatar triangle. So, if you guys want to think of making a V shape, it goes right to the middle of the nose. We come in on both sides, 
go straight up to the top of the head. So we're gonna give us our avatar triangle there. And then from our side of our head going out this way, we're gonna curve up at the top, making a point and then curving back down in to make a horn. What we do on one side, we're gonna do on the other. We're gonna go out, curving out and up, making a point, curving back in to the side. We have our horns. Now for me, those seem a little misguided or misshaped, I should say. So I'm gonna bring this one down a little bit. It's always okay to erase, guys. This means we're thinking while we create. So if we see something we want to change up, go ahead and change. Now that we have our head there, we're going to start working on our body. And because we're looking at, at a front on view, we're going to see the top of his back. And the best way to do this is kind of thinking of starting behind the top of the ear here, kind of arching. and over all the way back to our other ear and then under those ears you can come down straight and I'm going to come across with a slight curve be the bottom of my feet go back up and under my mouth there to give some feet Then I'm gonna move the line kind of over and curved. Curve with it here to give a sense of a tail. And if you want, on one side here, I'm gonna add some more feet so come down, put another foot, come down a little bit behind it again to give a sense of our other foot. Yeah, one, two, three, on the side. It's going to go in a little bit. And we'll see one of the other legs on this side, but because it's going back, we won't see all of it. Now, this triangle on the top of the head, this design is going to run all the way back through the body, so we're going to kind of arch going with it and then follow this curved line going all the way back over the tail. Cool. Now once we have all those details on, I'm going to put a couple more details. So there's triangle shapes here coming out across the body then it is time to ink. When we ink, we go over the lines that we want to stay. We're going to make sure that we get all of those cool zigzag lines that we put in for our hair. And then we make sure we keep all of our shapes that make this a nice, soft, fluffy character. sure that it sort of gives a nice wavy line on my legs here. This will make them look kind of a little bit more fluffy. Going up to the back here. Slight wavy line. Nothing too much, but just slightly. I'm not trying to keep my lines perfect. And that just gives a sense of this little fur. Here up at the mouth, make sure that these big cheeks there, and our nose, our nostrils.
little tiny white dot in there. So we'll get some reflective light. And now that all my details are in, and I have it inked the way I want it, you guys know what's next. It is time to color. Here we go. Alright guys, we're all done. I know you're going to put an awesome background in your picture, but for me, I'm going to sign it. Proud of all your hard work today, guys. You rock. Alright guys, we're all done drawing out for the day. I hope you had a great time drawing with me, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for more art class. Until then, be kind and creative, and have an amazing Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.